Hey everybody, welcome back to YouTube's favorite underground climbing channel. So I know you guys really enjoyed me going into the future and seeing what secrets they hold, so I have a confession to make. I couldn't help myself. I had to go back. Then what you have become, you must take your place in the circle of life. Mufasa, is that you? Remember what? Whoa, I can't get to the laboratory. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you a device from the future. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, so let me show you its features. Let me just grab some rope. So if you ever stop to think about it, cyclists, they have their bicycle. They have a little computer that they have a little magnet to check their cadence on their pedals, check their speed. Heck, they even have a heart monitor. And what do climbers have? Zero. That's what climbers have. So this device is going to change all of that forever. So the way this works is we have our rope. And this is going, this is going up to our lead climber. It's about to lead climb. And then we just take our little device. This is obviously still in the beta mode, beta version. <laughs> so as soon as the rope goes in, China, not you idiot. it gives us friendly little reminders to keep us safe. And then as the rope goes through, the whole point of it is as the rope feeds through here, as we get to one foot, we're almost at one foot, oh, there you go, one foot. And as our climber climbs through and the rope feeds through this device, we get to two feet, two feet. And it keeps going and going and going. Now, we'll know exactly how many feet the lead climber climbed and it will sync right to our cell phones and we'll know how many calories we burned, how many feet we climbed. This is perfect for the gym climber who wants to know what their workout was. Before, there was no way to know. How many climbs did you climb? How many feet did you climb? There's no knowing. Now we know. I'm calling it the beta buddy. <laughs> well, this is the beta buddy. Now let's see what happens when we put it on our grigri. Okay, it now senses that it's on a grigri. Get that hand on the brake line, moron. Better keep my hand on the brake line. And it also senses if I'm too far away from the cliff. If once the angle gets a little bit too far. Are you sure you should be standing there? See, it reminds me to stand in the right spot. The beta buddy. It's going to solve all our problems. How many feet did you climb today, Johnny? Four. So what do you guys think about the Beta Buddy climbing device? This is a great gift this, for this holiday season for all you new climbers out there. If you're an experienced climber, give this to your uh, belayer if he's brand new. It'll keep him right on his toes. So let me know what you think about it. Josh Perry, climbing out of here. You probably aren't even wearing a helmet, are you? All right, so welcome to the uncut director's uncut director's version. Behind the scenes, director's uncut, something like that. I figured some of you guys might want to know what makes this thing tick. For the, so for the inquiring minds, I decided to make the, an extended version of this episode for you. Um, we'll get, I'll, I'll kind of talk about the whole process of making this and what's inside it and whatnot, how, how I envision it to work or whatever. So before I get started... Well, the outside is built this CNC machine and the, all the electronics and all, all the way this thing was put together was a big help from my uh, nephew, Matt. Um, this CNC machine is actually his and all electronics are his. You have to realize that before I started a YouTube channel, um, I basically crawled out, quite literally out from underneath a rock and decided I want to make YouTube videos. So I had to learn photography, I had to learn cameras, I had to learn computers and then I eventually built a computer so that I could edit the videos I was making 
And electronics have been something that I've been avoiding my entire life from, from dealing with. I'd rather not deal with electronics. So we're sitting down and I pitched this idea to him and he says, oh, I think I have everything to make that. And, and then I was like, okay, how we make it? And now we're sitting down there, we're writing schematics. And then he starts talking about how electrons flow this way, but they actually flow this way. Then my head starts going, spinning and I zone out. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. So um, basically what this is, yep, yeah, it's a plastic case here. And then uh, obviously this is still, like I said, in the beta phase. But so in the back, it's just an Arduino board that's screwed right to the back of this plastic thing. And the LCD uh, is slipped right in the back here. This thing actually took me two weeks to, to make. Uh, two weeks ago, I, I thought about it and I thought, oh, I'll make it for next week's video. And here I am two weeks later and it's still not really the way I, I, I really want it. But um, basically what I envisioned is the rope goes through here and then there's some kind of wheel here and uh, it, it actuates this button and there's two switches here. One, you hit the switch and then it starts counting up like that. And then this other switch, uh, you hit that and it resets it. Let's say if uh, it's time to, to repel or belay, you don't want to count that as upward progress, obviously. So, I mean, yeah, this is still just a work in progress. This is our Arduino board. Um, luckily, uh, you have to write programs for this to, to get this whole thing working. But luckily, I was able to find a program that was almost all, almost completely pre-written. But still, the wiring for this whole thing took me the whole day. It was crazy. And then I, it, just, it just got a 9-volt battery. So it needs like a, a bottom here and... I think there's there there must be a way to get this so it's way more compact than this and doesn't have to be this whole Arduino board set up with the wires. Maybe like it could just be you know really thin and put in there, obviously. But I I haven't gotten to that phase yet. If you guys like this video a lot, maybe I'll keep investing my time into it. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, what else can I say about the the way this thing is built? I mean that that's about it. Do you have any if you have any questions about it, or uh, you want to see me keep on making it, just leave a comment down and down below. Um, I think it's pretty funny. Uh, I actually haven't got it to actually talk yet. That was just uh, some magical editing I did in Premiere. But uh, I'd actually like it to do some talking. Maybe like I get a gyro in there or something to, so it actually knows if it's off or whatever. Um, like I said in the video. Um, so that's about it. Uh, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Should I keep on tinkering with this thing? What do you think? Joshua Perry climbing out of here for the second time in this video. <laughs>